Is that from Katie? Yeah. She's happy I'm a doctor again because my rent is due. She and the baby are having dinner with Nancy Hughes. Oh, well, I was just going to say hi, so I guess I should get going. Hi, where you got to go? You got another awards banquet to run off to? Oh, you mean for my multi-million dollar foundation? Uh, no, I, I think I'm caught up. Why? Well, I figure I owe you for helping me beat the medical board and saving my career, so what do you say? Pizza and a beer? We're even? <laughs> You're so generous. Uh, I don't drink. All right, forget the beer. I'll throw in watching the game instead. Look, that's nice, but I, I think I'll pass. You really don't owe me anything. And if you leave now, we can go back to being Dr. Oliver and Mr. Snyder, and we don't have to talk about that kiss. Is that the idea? Well, there's nothing to talk about. No kiss, just kiss. Don't worry, Luke. It won't happen again. Unless you want it to. Pizza sounds good. Pizza it is. Looks like your cable's out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the game. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Hey, I like baseball. I know something you like more. Brain surgery? More than that. What's that? Not talking. You live for not talking. I like to talk, I just don't do small talk. It's a waste of time. Yeah, because it means you'd have to be civil. At least until the pizza game. Hey, I haven't said anything insulting to you for at least 48 hours. Yeah. What happened? Hey, you get enough of that from Noah. It's not fair to pile on. Want something to drink? Soda's fine. And you know you're wrong. No and I are okay. He kicked you out. You call that okay? If that's what he needs. No, what he needs is to learn some gratitude. You think I want Noah but to give no, me... No, he's still punishing you for his accident. But it was my fault. He, he was messing with fireworks. I was distracting him. If he was totally focused on that instead of me... Everything you've done since then doesn't matter? Getting him into rehab? Kidnapping the finest neurosurgeon in the country to do his surgery. <laughs> Full of yourself much. I'm just saying, for him to keep dumping on you after everything you've done for him, frankly, it's rude. You're not blind and you're rude. What's your excuse? Why are you sticking up for him? Because you're talking trash about him. I'm just speaking the truth. It's time somebody's stuck up for you. I'm fine. Noah's blaming you. You're letting him. You guys are both idiots. And now you're back to insulting me. You know what? I knew it. Accidents happen. They're not always somebody's fault. It's not okay for Noah to beat up on you, calling the shots while you put your life on hold, waiting for him to come around. Aren't you sick of that yet? You sure as hell should be. What? You're leaving? Where are you going? I don't want to discuss my relationship with Noah. With okay, you. fine. We don't have to talk about it. We can talk about something else. We can talk about your foundation, how the Cubs suck almost as much as the Astros. Our kiss. What? Oh, now I'm the one that doesn't want to talk. It's because he liked it. There could be a lot of reasons for that. Like, it's been a long time. And? And, um... Being wanted by someone like you. It's a compliment. Yes, it is. And? Save Ben Bell. This guy is getting a lousy tip. Delivery for Oliver. Anybody ever tell you you have a lousy timing? I get that a lot. Do you want me to get that? Yeah, could you? Thanks. Dr. Oliver's phone. Luke? Noah, Noah, hi. Uh, we just got back from Texas. Good news, he's been reinstated. Oh, that's a relief, considering my surgery's scheduled for tomorrow. It is? Oh, wow. Um, I just had no idea. Well, I'll be thinking about you. Thanks. But you want to talk to Reed? <laughs> it's Reed now? Yeah. Um, can you just wait a couple seconds? You know what, Luke? Uh, don't worry about it. It's, um, it's not a big deal. I was just, uh... Checking in. Um, he doesn't have to call me back. Who was it? Noah. You just tell me his surgery is tomorrow. No, 
I didn't. You want to get some plates? No, I want to know what kind of game you're playing. Why didn't you tell me that Noah's surgery is scheduled for tomorrow? Family members are privy to that kind of information. You are decidedly not a family member. Yeah, but when did you plan this? You must have been talking about it with him while we were in Texas. I'm not discussing my patient with you. We were just talking about Noah. You brought him up. We weren't talking about his medical care. All right, let me get this straight. My ex might get his eyesight back tomorrow, and we can't talk about that. But you are free to tell me every reason that Noah and I shouldn't be together. Mm, yeah, that, that about sums it up. It's called doctor-patient privilege. Oh, that is not what this is about, and you know it. You didn't want to tell me about Noah's surgery because you knew that I would go straight to him and see him through it. You're acting like I'm the only one who knew the time and date of this surgery. Noah knew. Did he, did he call you? Did he ask for your loving support? No. But that's probably because he knew that I was in Texas with you and thought that you would tell me. But no, you were too busy trying to work me, trying to start something I with me. I thought we were starting something together. You know, and I think that's a conflict of interest. What is my sinister plan? Huh? Keep him blind so he'll need you? Restore his sight so he wants you back? Who knows? Who knows what you think? Because one minute you're this pompous ass, and then the next minute you're kissing me and making me feel like, like... Feel like what? I don't know. Yeah, you do. How do I make you feel? Oh, really? That's the hospital. It's an emergency. I gotta get over there. Listen, can you put away the pizza and lock up? Sure. I don't play games, Luke. I'm not that guy. Luke? Is that you? Yeah, yeah. Come on inside. How long have you been out there? Uh, I don't know. No, not that long. Would you like something to drink? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. So, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm having the surgery tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, you told me. Well, you know, I, I've spent this whole time just thinking about when the surgery was gonna be, and I haven't let anything else re really penetrate for me until today, and I'm kind of freaking out. Uh, anybody would and be. I, I tried not to call you. I mean, I've been, I've been pulling away so much, and then, you know, I just suddenly have one bad day, and I... No, you... You could have called. I, I didn't want, want to go there, so uh, I called Dr. Oliver. You know, I figured he'd give me grief, but he'd, he'd probably calm me down. And... you picked up. And it, it was like everything came together for me. And what's that? I'm scared, Luke. And... You're the only person I want to be with. Look, I, I, I totally understand if you want to just kick me out. I mean, I've hurt you a lot, pulling away from me the way I have. Well, you've needed space, I get that. Yeah, but you still went to the mat for me. If it wasn't for you pushing for that hearing in Texas for Reed, I, I wouldn't be having the surgery. <laughs> you, you're not saying anything. Well, I'm not sure what it is you're asking me, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I don't, I'm blowing this. Um, I don't, uh, well, I'm not, I'm okay, not. Okay, okay, I get it. You're not proclaiming your undying love. I didn't mean it to sound like that. Then what do you want, Noah? My dad's in prison. My mom's dead. The surgery tomorrow, I don't know what could happen. I could die. You won't. But if I did, who would they tell? You know, and the thought of going into, the, into that room with nobody waiting for me on the other side, caring either way what happens. If you want me there, I'm there. Sure? Yeah. I mean, I thought you'd never ask, but... but... I didn't know what you'd say. I mean, just considering everything I've put you through recently and, and, and the fact that Dr. Oliver has been so hard on you. I'll be with you every step of the way. Surgery, recovery, whatever you want. Could you just, um... It'll be okay. You'll be okay.